hopefully you guys watched my previous video where I talked about uh, some of the headphones that I had bought for my FRS and that how I had switched to uh, the Midland brand to try. Previously I had bought some Unidins and none of it worked. Can't really give them any kind of good review or anything like that. So I ended up uh, again switching to Midland and buying kind of a complete set that I thought would be good for motorcycles and you know I bought from B&H Photo which was good. Very very reputable camera shop if nobody's ever shopped from them. This is a Talking about the uh, AVPH5s, um, again, I've already unboxed them and um, myself. I didn't film it or anything like that. Sort of. There's a little bit if you check my sites about all my middle gear that came in. Um, here's a quick picture of them. But here's my helmet already in there. Um, one of the things you may see is all this cabling kind of hanging out of the bottom, and that's just tucked in now. I'll bring the camera in a little closer, and basically what I did is. They come with a lot of Velcro, you know, so you, for Velcro stickies, so you can stick them inside your helmets, and uh, as well as the microphone. Now, this is one thing I, I'm not a big fan of, and I wish they would have changed with this. Um, so, again, I'll try to bring in here. I'm going to open this modular, so I'll open this up, okay? So, inside here, I have the speakers mounted. Right, so the nice thing is, is they're really nice uh, and foamy, which is nice. Because they're thick as well, uh, in my opinion, it, it'll push them back or out from the helmet, you know, into more where your ear is, which should help with the volume. Again, I haven't been able to really test them, tested them in the house, and in the house they sound great. Um, but I don't know what will happen when I'm on the bike. That I like. Cables are super long so no worries about cable length uh, please make sure you have a helmet that all the stuff can pop out or else you're going to have all this excessive cable um, it comes into these this kind of three-way right in here and this three-way section there uh, is where your right and left speakers are coming from and your actual microphone now this is the part that I was like meh about so it comes with and I'm just gonna so it comes with this little microphone. Now you'll notice it's not on a boom or anything like that. It is just this. Um, and I guess for a full face that's okay. Uh, luckily for me where my uh, chin guard is or chin strap is here where it protects for the wind it's all on with velcro. So instead of me actually having to stick some velcro there there's a bit of velcro just kind of hanging out and I just snap it in there and it works just fine. Um, but you got all this excess cable. Uh, problem with that, and it would have been nicer if they, yes, did the standard speakers, but had an actual boom mic. Uh, because then for you know those with, my wife has a three-quarter helmet, and it's we got to physically stick uh, that to her windscreen, or you just she just can't use it. So it kind of takes away, and I guess that's what it says is for a full face helmet. But still, it would be nice to be able to use it on that style. You know, she has pockets for, for speakers in the side of hers. Um, so, anyway. Uh, lots of cable. Comes out. One of the things you'll notice is this only goes so far. So it actually has these nice little connectors. And you'll see two main connector areas. So this one here, which is which will tie it into the main unit. And I say main unit, but tie it into the bigger set of cables, I guess. And... I'm good with the helmet for now. I'm just going to put that down. Again, I carry all my excess cables in here because depending on what helmet I'm wearing will depend on what headphones I'm wearing. Uh, so I can kind of switch them and always make sure I have them. I always carry one extra helmet or a different style of helmet with me. So, anyways, I'm just going to kind of unhook some of this. So this is the other set of cable. Okay, so. Basically what happens is your headphones that come out or your cable that comes out of your headphone would plug into this, okay? And this, again, plenty long, uh, will go into your FRS radio, okay? Plug it nice and nicely, okay? And that could be mounted physically on you, on your handlebars, wherever you have it. For me, it will probably be mounted on an inside pocket because these ones nicely have this. And if you're looking nice and close, this is a push to talk button, which is handlebar mounted. So I can actually mount that on my handlebar and 
while I'm riding, simply just click down on this to talk, which is nice. I don't actually have to take a hand off the handlebars. Um, so yeah, so it has the one connector again where the physical headphones or headsets plug into the cable. And then it has another set here where this connects to the main cable again. So this is kind of the central piece which connects all of it. So, question is, uh, how good are they? Well, honestly, I can't tell you. Uh, I just wanted you to see what this looked like. Again, wearing them around the house, they work great. Um, plenty, plenty good volume-wise. Seems to be able to do the trick, I can hear. Uh, distance, I'll, I'll know more when I'm riding this season, but a little early in the season now since uh, there's approximately four feet of snow outside. It's February, don't know when that's going to go away. Anyways, I wanted you guys to see this. This is the Midland AVPH5s. No, that's not right. AVPH2s, uh, which are the, uh, it calls it the speaker and microphone kit for closed motorcycle helmets. Uh, I picked these up on uh, B&H Photo. They were, uh, I'm trying to remember what they were, about, I think they're about, let's round up to about $30 per headset. Uh, per package, and I bought two of them. Um, so not horrible, 30 bucks. Um, and you know, they work with I think almost all the Midland series. Mine is an LXT series, but the GXT as well, I believe they all work with. Uh, and again, I carry them in this um, just to make sure that depending on which helmet I have, if I decide in the morning it's a little cool and I want to go full face, you know, my modular, it will should work just dandy. And at night, or during the day, I mean, when it heats up, I can switch helmets, switch to my AVPH2s, and off I go. So anyway, there was a, just a quick, quick look of those two headsets, and uh, hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, talk to you later. Bye.